Okay, hi again there, everybody, and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're looking at, we've got you covered. So we're going to do some NHL action for uh, November 6th. So before we get started, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to this section here, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So let's look at some of the games. There's only three games to look at here, so we're going to get started. It's a light schedule for November the 6th. Uh, Detroit in New York. So if you look here at some of the charts that are always important to look at before you make your picks, you see that Detroit right now is ice cold down. They have, they're coming off of a loss in two and four of their last six. New York is burning hot. You can see they have won their last three and three and three over their last six. If you look at the over-under, Detroit has been involved in higher scoring games. You can see here five overs out of their last six, while New York is uh, under in their last two and under in three of their last six. The score prediction has the Rangers by a 4-3 margin with a very good level of confidence. At least it's above the toss of a coin at 56%. If you look at the power ranks indicator, look at this chart here. You can see both teams have a, an upward trend. You can see New York was at 2 and they have climbed upward. You can see the steep increase from 2 to 26. And Detroit, you can see they have increased from 6, a slighter increase, but 6 up to 13 on that chart. If you look at what the two teams have done against each other last season in the head-to-head -head chart here, you can see uh, there were two contests, the Rangers winning both of them. Actually, uh, wait, no, there's actually three games here. Yeah, Detroit won one, so two and one for the Rangers. They won four nothing, five four in overtime, and Detroit won one at three to two. If you take a look at the stability factor, um, look at this chart here, you can see plus three for Detroit and the Rangers are at zero. They were in the negative there for a little while, but they're at zero, but they have not been as, as consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. But in the end, I like the Rangers at home to win in a game going over. Okay, the next one here, Toronto and Carolina. You can see Toronto ice cold up. They're coming off of a win, but they had lost their previous four. So you can see two and six over their last, excuse me, two and four over their last six. Um, Carolina burning hot, coming off of two wins, and winners of three of their last four. The score predictor has Carolina by a 4-2 to two score, but you'll be able to pay attention to this confidence in prediction. That's only 46%, so less than a toss of a coin. The power ranks indicator chart shows Carolina uh, up near the top, as it had been for pretty much most of the season, at plus 28. Toronto was at uh, 20 just a few days ago, but they have dipped to plus 10. Let's look at the head-to-head -head matchups from two teams for last year. You can see that they met um, three times with Toronto winning two of the three and two of the three games were by one goal and the, the lone win for Carolina was a four to one win at home. If you look at the totals predictor, which is not really what we want to look at, the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, Carolina is much more stable at plus six, meaning they're more consistent with performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end, Carolina is going to be a home favorite. I like them at home, and I like this to be higher scoring. So Carolina in a game going over. The last game for the day is Florida and Anaheim. You see Florida comes in at ice cold down. They're coming off of a loss, and they have lost four of their last six. Um, Anaheim average up. After losing four, you can see that they have won two in a row. If you take a look at the over-under, three games over and three games under for Florida in the last six, four games over and two games under for Anaheim. On the power ranks indicator chart, you can see here, look at the big dip. This was uh, on October 15th, Anaheim was at 24, and they've plummeted to zero, and they've been at zero ever since October 28th. And you can see Florida has increased from plus 17 to plus 23. Anaheim is picked to win at home by a 3-2 to two margin, but the confidence in prediction is low, 44%, so take that with a grain of salt. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. Anaheim has been much more consistent at uh, plus 5 compared to Florida at plus 1. Florida was higher. They were at plus 3, but they have been less consistent over the last few weeks. Um, let's take a look at the head-to-head. -head. You see the head-to-head -head matchup last year, Florida, a 3 to nothing winner on the road and a 3-2 winner at home in overtime on April the 12th. So in the end, I do have Florida on the road. They're just a stronger team overall. I, this could be very well be another overtime game. I like Florida, and 
but I think passing on the over under is the smart play here. Okay, there you have it. Happy betting. See you next time.